Greetings! Today I've got another charger, as promised, a wireless charger compatible with QI standard, far smaller than the other one, and we're gonna be doing pretty much the same thing by reading the instructions because sadly there aren't any. So let's uh, have a look. All it says on the back it's a wireless charging pad. Input DC5 volts, uh, 1500 milliamps, made in China, and again, China export FCC recycle, and don't throw it away. Uh, we thing symbol. So, again, cable, pretty much the same uh, story as before. So, let's see if it performs. By the way, the cost of this one was one pound and three pence after nine very exciting bids and it got delivered in the same amount of time because I was bidding at it from uh, at the same time as the previous one and uh, the seller is the same as in the other one VVV seller 47293 item description perfect power supply for business trip travel field work etc electricity saving function receiver not included here and after plugging it in just like in the previous video and um, we've got pretty much the same story uh, just drawing a little bit just under 10 milliamps in the standby mode and we've got a little red LED shining from the opposite side uh, from the side opposite to the USB port telling us that it's fully powered on so let's uh, let's put a phone on here and let's give it a shot Yes, now obviously I've received on my Note 7 because I'm still waiting for a replacement. I've received the evil update um, that limits the charging to 60% and every time I connect a charger this comes up on the screen. Uh, yeah, I feel violated by Samsung because I didn't have a choice to reject this update. This basically happened overnight. Um, yeah, uh, that's not cool. Samsung fix your stuff up but anyways rant over um, when connected uh, drawing 550 milliamps 570 there you go it's a little bit oscillates just like with the previous one I'm not going to go through the whole measuring thing again because I'm quite sure it's going to look very much the same besides I've got more of that coming up so um, I've got different ideas on, on how to uh, do things with it but um, let's uh, take it apart and see uh, what makes it tick, if it's any different. So let's take the cable out, put it to the side and we've got the little thing. Um, it's quite nice this, um, I've got to say, because it's a lot smaller than the other one, but also it has the silicone thing on there and that makes quite a bit of a difference. Now, depending on the surface that you use it on, but this doesn't want to move it stays put with just a little bit of weight on there it stays and the same with a phone it will hold the phone in place and um, yeah the other one is uh, there we go this thing is slidey so even if I see now it's not moving now it's moving and this one doesn't want to move so good thing uh, good design this uh, rubber foot on top and bottom to hold your device but let's take it apart and I'm just gonna use a thin screwdriver and try to wedge it because yet again there isn't anything visible. I doubt there is anything under the silicone silicone rubber thing. But I can see there is little plastic legs that made up with, uh, with holes in the other side. So let's get in and there we are. Aha! That explains uh, the three, because I think the circuit board is identical. Let's have a look. Um, that explains the three little uh, pads on the previous one. That I wasn't sure what they are, but there you go. And over here we've got two pads for LEDs that uh, seem not to be fitted. Okay, that's interesting. Let's get a different screwdriver. Take this little screw out and we should be able to get to the circuit board. It looks like the circuit board along with the uh, along with the charger pad wants to come out. So oh come on. There we go. And no, disappointingly it looks um, a tiny bit different. 
a little bit. Um, but again, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, exactly 10 turns, just like on the previous one. It's wound up slightly differently in a sense that uh, the wire from the inside goes underneath um, all the um, all the turns on the coil. Uh, the other one was going on the, over the top. Uh, this, I guess, makes it uh, a little bit neater. We have a microcontroller, but an unnamed one, this big th thing here, and a whole bunch of tiny little trannies um, in smaller packages than the previous one. So let's uh, let's get closer. There we go, now we can see a little bit better. We've got a LM358, clearly just a, a dual op-amp and in a different package than the previous one. And the chip with absolutely no markings on, that's absolutely boring. Um, so yeah, most definitely it is some sort of micro again and clearly um, with all the caps and capacitor, uh, capacitors and resistors around the op-amp. The op-amp must be doing some oscillation generator thing. And here we have we have two sets of two, hold on, I'm losing focus a little bit, there we go. Uh, two sets of two types of devices, M06A and M05. And Yes, clearly there's four uh, transistors needed to get this going uh, because the other set had two dual uh, MOSFETs. Those look far much uh, lower power than the previous ones, but um, okay. Uh, we've got the LED here and here unpopulated, but instead it's the three pin thing set up and uh, from what I remember on the previous one, there was a symbol on the three pins which uh, would suggest a common cathode dual color LED, um, on just like probably just like here. And again, on the back of the circuit, we've got nothing uh, apart from just an example of not cleaning up your job after soldering, but. That's about it, and the legs haven't even been uh, cut off, they've just been bent over because it's quicker that way. Coil uh, looks, apart from the wire going underneath the this one, uh, here as you can see, instead of over the top, uh, there is no difference, it's the same sort of cable. Um, I've just noticed the ferrite hasn't got uh, a hole in the middle, so it's a full flat disc of, uh, of the ferrite material. And just in case, if anyone is interested, let's uh, measure this thing up, let's zero out my calipers. Uh, the cable appears to be about one millimeter in diameter, uh, including the wrap, uh, the insulation wrap. So that would be, yeah, about one millimeter, uh, let's call that. And the ferrite core diameter is uh, 50 millimeters. So five centimeters diameter of the ferrite and the coil outside diameter, 43 millimeters and the inside, uh, give or take 20 millimeters. The ferrite is, uh, how thick is it? A millimeter thick. And including the coil, the hole is two and a half millimeters. The whole thing is actually quite flat. Uh, if in, if you want to put that in into a, another casing product or something, um, this would uh, work quite well. I probably would uh, suggest removing the USB socket because that is actually the thickest thing. The measuring here is just over three millimeters. So if you remove that and connect it, um, the wire somehow directly to it, to the board, uh, this could be actually quite flat uh, if put side by side. So, hmm, that's, uh, yeah, interesting. And I'm gonna put this together now uh, for future experimentation. Uh, I've got some more plans uh, in terms of those wireless chargers. So yeah, stay tuned. There might be some more interesting stuff coming up. Um, but yeah, as far as this goes, um, I think that's it. I have a much uh, shorter video than the previous one for the simple reason, a lack of uh, subject to talk about or read. So yeah, there isn't any markings on the chip. 
um, it's quite a bit simpler than the other one, although very similar. So it, it's obvious that it's not as high power as the other one. The other one had much beefier MOSFETs and uh, um, and so on. So yeah, I, I prefer the other one actually. Uh, but as a general daily use and the form factor, this one seems quite a bit better with with the rubber feet and uh, and whatnot. So that's uh, that's quite good on this one. Um, but anyways, um, thanks a lot for watching. Give me a like if you like this uh, quick uh, video, and yeah, subscribe for more uh, electronics related stuff. For this one, that's it. So take care.